Hello! Well, you thought I was gonna, I was gonna do this. Because my, my chair, my chair. Have, have I told you about my chair? It's, it's, it's very, very nice. You can't even see it. It's very nice chair. Very nice. This headphone cord is super short. Um, and it can, it can, it can do this. Wait a second. My cord, the earbuds are gonna fly out my ears. Blatant chair meme reference. Check. Also, I got a new camera setup thing. So now, the reason that there's no light over here is because you will be able to see all my pores and stuff with this camera. And no, I'm not wearing a Trump wig. Um, so, if you haven't heard, you've been living under a rock. PewDiePie versus T-Series. Which side are you on? Like for PewDiePie, dislike for T-Series. And if this video gets more than 10 dislikes, I will... I'll, I'll just, you know, I'll just, nah, who, who cares? I don't even like PewDiePie anyways. So, to, to demonstrate that I'm sorry for the joke I made about me not liking you pewds, we need to subscribe to PewDiePie. Don't leave a like if you want to subscribe to PewDiePie. Actually, leave a like, but then subscribe to PewDiePie and leave in the comments you have subscribed. And if there, it's another comment and it's not you subscribe to PewDiePie, I'm blocking you. So, what are Jane is Jenny? What are you doing to demonstrate that you you want us to subscribe to PewDiePie? Meme. Re <laughs> Book review. Ah, you thought I was gonna review the memes, didn't you? Didn't you? There's only one man on this planet that can review the memes, and that's PewDiePie. So. I got the chair. I got a top hat for some reason. I got my my little elf on the shelf, buddy. And I got my VR headset. So because of all these things, I can review books. Don't argue with me. It's fact. So, our first book is Percy Jackson, the book that I like. That's a spoiler warning, this isn't getting a one. So, the story follows a boy named Percy Jackson, who um, finds out he's a demigod. The story starts uh, and uh, attends this camp for demigods, because that's like the only place that's safe for these uh, the kids. Because out, if you leave this, if they left this area, the monster monsters can smell them, and no humans can see the monsters, but the demigods, gods, and um, mythical creatures can. Did I mention that it's Greek mythology? I love Greek mythology. So, um, it follows Percy Jackson and his best friend Grover at the beginning of the first book, and. Um, Grover is a normal kid. Percy also thinks he's a normal kid, except Grover knows that he's actually a satyr, which is half human, half goat. Um, I think that's what it is. Sorry, my brain is fuzzy. Haven't read this book in two years. Um, so then, at this camp, he meets another uh, one of his uh, friends, Annabeth, the daughter of Athena. So if you don't know what a demigod is... Google it, because it, this video will be like five hours long if I have to explain what demi a demigod is. Actually, no. It's the it's the, the son or daughter of a god and a human. So, half god, half human. Boom. Explained. So, um... 
it's there's a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot of stuff that goes on because if you think about it that is it's a vague premise but I don't want to spoil it and it's an off it's a really really good story Rick Riordan is an author I really like except for this second series isn't that good and I got really mad thing is it's it's for kids so I don't know if you're like 17 and you're you were like at my school and you're like hey look it's Jimmy's old video oh that's so stupid and you see this book you might not want to read it because it's for kids so or if you're some kid in the class <coughs> never mind I'm not gonna say your name because you'll get mad at me um that thinks that they're all that in a bag of chips and they don't want to make and they'll, like, some kids will be like, Oh, you read books for kids. Why don't you read books for 80-year-olds? Those are good. But you don't read books, because books are for babies. Um, so, yeah, if you're, like, it's for kids. So that's the, that's the thing. So this would get a five. Actually, no, it gets a five. It gets a five. It's... Basically, um, it's almost a must-read. Like, my opinion, This, these are all my opinion. For me, if I was asked, if anyone, like, especially, like, someone younger than me was asking, what book should I read? I would say Percy Jackson. So, yes, it's very, very, very good. You might not like it if you're older, though. NEXT BOOK! Our second book! Uh, Night Shift by Stephen King. It says Night Shift, Stephen King. It's just backwards, that's, that's, that's a hand, a dead guy's hand. This book isn't for four-year-olds. That's the first thing I have to say. So, if you guys don't know who Stephen King is, he's one of the, the, in my opinion, the best horror author of all time. He's released, um, like, every horror book, like, every really, really famous horror book has been Stephen King. Almost every single one. So, like, it, The Shining, Carrie, just to name a few, um, Pet Cemetery, all those are all Stephen King. And so is this one. This was one of Stephen King's first books. It is a um, collection of short stories. Let me check how many short stories are in here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So there are 20 short stories. It's about like 500 some pages. So each of these stories has almost nothing to do with the other one other than the fact that they're all horror and that they're almost all good. Like pretty much all of them are really good. So some of my, my favorites are, my number one favorite in this book is The Mangler, which was a... Um, a story about a possessed ironing machine. So basically what they were supposed to do is they would put the clothes through this machine and it would go like, it had like these things that would iron it out. But a, a ton of stuff got in there, including like three people or something. And it kills things. Real good. So, um, with this, um, this thing, all the people that work here all know that it's, like, really, like, weird that there's so many bad things that have happened just in this one machine. But it turns out eventually that, like, every, like, weird possession thing that can make stuff possessed has gotten into this machine somehow. So, these guys are like, oh, crap. This laundry machine is possessed. 
not laundry machine, sorry, uh, oh, jeez, now I'm gonna have to sanction that, a, um, a dryer, not, dryer, the thing, the iron air machine, it sounds really, really stupid, so to put it in perspective, if someone had that ironing machine, and a kid got their arm stuck in it, person that hadn't read Night Shift, would have pulled them out of it. Person that had red night shift would have gave the machine an exorcism. There's your difference. Another really good one is Strawberry Spring. Strawberry Spring is a story about, um, I think it was Spring Heel Jack was his name. Yeah, and it's like this, Strawberry Spring is this thing that, um, like, happens every couple, every, like, ten years or something, and it gets, like, really foggy and stuff, and it, like, it's really, really hot, and there's this killer that goes around only during Strawberry Spring, and there's a really, really crazy twist at the end, and it's also very good, and there's also, um, Night Surf, which was the basis for The Stand, which is another book I'm definitely gonna read. Then there's um, Graveyard Shift, which is The Rats. There's another one called um, Quitter's Inc., which is about this guy who's trying to quit smoking. Um, Gray Matter is about this, uh, another one of my favorites, is about this guy who's, uh, whose dad is an alcoholic. And he starts turning into, like, there's something in the beer. And he starts turning into, like, this mutated creature it's really interesting and then there's um jerusalem's lot which was the basis for salem's lot and this book uh salem's lot so jerusalem's lot is through letters all letters not like letters like words like letters like he's sending a letter to someone overall this book Oh, it's amazing. It's very, very, very good. He's an amazing author. It's one of my favorite books by him. And... I found almost nothing wrong with the stories. All They didn't... There's nothing wrong with it. Except the fact that with Percy Jackson, it was only for younger audience. Well, not only for younger audiences, but mainly for younger audiences. This is mainly for older audience, but then again... Look at me. Am I insane? Yeah. But this book still gets a four and a yeah, four and a half. I'll give it a four and a half. Super, super, super good. But it gets me really mad because I wish that some of these stories were longer when they would have ended. They need to make a sequel to this book. Because like um A few of them, like um, Strawberry Spring ends on a cliffhanger, so does... Uh, all my favorites ended on a cliffhanger. There's only one I haven't read yet, which is... Uh, Sometimes They Come Back. And I've heard very good things about Sometimes They Come Back. Also, if you just started reading, these stories are from 30 to 100 pages. So you can... Some of these... Like, I read Truck... I Not Trucks. I read... Um, like, maybe four of these in a day of, like, reading for, like, 30 minutes. So, really short, maybe somewhere like 10 pages. One of my favorites was actually 10 pages. Night Surf is, like, 20 pages. So, and it was really, really good. If you like Night Surf, you'll like The Stand, even though The Stand is a thousand page no, 800 pages, and this is 10. 4.5 out of 5 stars. Next, meme, I mean book. Book number 3, I think this is. I don't I don't remember cuz it's been like 2 hours since I recorded. Ah, oh, my eyes. Um this one, Bird Box by, um, I can't read backwards, uh, Josh Mailerman, which is a Netflix film. If you haven't read the book, you should. If you haven't watched it on Netflix, you should. Problem, it's pretty scary. So, 
for the under under the age of my age, don't watch it. It's kind of spooky. So it follows the story of a girl named Mallory, who is Pergananat at the beginning. And there's been a... Um, also, if you're scared of stuff, skip through this part. Uh, there's a, There's been a mass suicide in Russia and a ton of other places. Then it moved to Afghanistan. Not Afghan. Af... Af... The thing beside Canada that belongs to the U.S. That place. And then it moved. I don't even know what happened to Canada. Mm, they're already crazy up there. Uh, then it moved into U.S. And so she's going to the... In the movie, at least. And in the book. Um, this doesn't happen, but I'll describe it as the movie because that's easy to remember. Uh, she's going to the doctor. And... Um, she goes up to the... So she... Uh, to get an ultrasound to know if she's actually having a baby. And, uh, turns out she is. Walks out of there. There's a lady that's just banging her head against a piece of glass. For, like, five minutes. Bonk! And then eventually, she's like, Oh, yo, I forget what her sister's name was, but her sister was, was there. Shannon. Um... Hey, yo, you know that, uh, that, that one time where everyone died in there, that place, that little tiny place we know as Russia? Yeah, that, that time. It's here. And she's like, oh, that's great. Hit the gas. They drive. She goes crazy. She dies. Then Mallory has, so Mallory runs and then enters this house. And on, in this house is, um, a couple guys, so there's Dawn, there's, it's not a very long book, and they don't say their names very often, there's a lady, there's a young guy, there's Jules, there's and then there's Dawn. Octavia, who is also Pergananant, and then there's another guy, which I also forget his name, oh, there, there, there's Tom, 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 Tom is awesome, Tom is awesome, so, um, by the way, Tom is the only character other than Mallory and boy and girl. That's the name of the children, boy and girl, that are actually in the movie. Because there's, like, Doug and a ton of other characters in the movie, and then there's Dawn and a ton of other characters in the book. Book was first, and if you're saying... So, actually, no, never mind. I haven't gotten to the point of why everyone's dying. So, it turns out it's this creature that, if you look at it, you die. Or it makes you kill yourself. And, um, what it, this thing is, is not said throughout the whole book. So, don't bother me being like, Jimmy, spoil what, a, what the creature is. It's not exactly a creature or a, it's an entity. So, is it really a guy? So, then, eventually, they get this call from this dude. Also, I forget his name. Sorry, that I don't have, I don't know very many names. But, um, they get this call from this guy, and they say, and he says, Oh, there's a safe place here. You can trust us. No, because there were people from this, uh, this hospital for crazy guys that, um, weren't affected by this, um, this thing that, um, like, they wouldn't kill themselves because the creature or whatever it is makes you see your worst fears and these guys don't have a care in the world, so it doesn't really do anything to them or harm them at all. Um, so then they're like, okay, so, yeah, I think we'll do this because it's our, like, last chance to actually survive this epidemic. So then after they go on that, um, that they're like, so you're going to have to go down a 20, uh, two, uh, two day, uh, I think, I, yeah, it was two day trip in a canoe with the two kids blindfolded. Yeah, so she's blindfolded. Mallory's blindfolded and needs to row this boat all the way across and like this giant stream 
to get to this place. By the way, I'm not saying if everyone dies or not, but a lot of guys die. Yeah. So, in all, it's a good book. It's a really quick read. I finished it in like two days, but then again, I am completely and utterly insane and have no social life. But, um, very, very good. Wish it was longer. It gets a four. Awesome, but I wish it was longer and not enough character development. And The Quiet Place ripped it off. It did not rip off. The Quiet Place will stop saying that. Next book. Hey, James, I can only see one half of your face. The other half is dark. I cannot uh, see it. Uh, how about now? I have a side light. Problem is... It's right over there, like at like a not this, not behind me, or like here or here, but it's right in the corner. So the corner of my eye, I just see this blaze of light and it really hurts. So if you're wondering why I never have videos with good backlighting, that's why. It's painful. So the, na the last book. I'm going to talk about is Green Mile, not the Green Mile, jo I just read John Green, Paper Towns. It's been like five months since, <laughs> okay, okay, a little bit of backstory. I thought about doing this video, it was 2018 when I did this, the first part of this, and I gave up on it because <laughs> I couldn't find a good editing software. And I finally found one that doesn't take years to actually get anything good out of. So, I have eight second long transitions so I can drag this video out to longer than 20 minutes for three ads. And now if I do this, I get the half my face is dark. So, why do you care? And that's really annoying. D did I mention I have a new cam- Did I mention I have a new camera? That, that, that's probably very annoying. So I haven't read this in forever. I know it was really funny and really good. It was sad and funny at the same time. Mm, I don't even remember what it was about. <laughs> Actually, let me just read the back here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, there's this kid, his name's, uh, I'm not gonna butcher his name, so I'll just call him Q. Uh, Q Jacobson, who, he's like, oh, sorry about the, the, microphone. Uh, he's like, uh, so he's a high school kid, and he's like, um, he's always had a crush on, uh, this girl named Margot Roth. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce her last name. I'm terrible with names. Uh, but basically... He likes her, but they kind of just split apart. And he's got this, uh, um, he, they were like really good friends when they were younger, but then they just kind of drifted apart. And he has this group of friends that are absolutely amazing. So he's got, um, Ben, who's hilarious. Um, there's, uh, oh, what's the other dude's name? Oh my gosh. There were, there were a couple guys in here. There was another guy, I forget what he, his name was, but he, uh, his parents had the world's largest collection of black Santa Clauses. Don't know what that was about, but it was pretty dumb, but pretty funny. Um, and then there's, um, Q, and they mimic my friend group so well it's amazing. So, like, um... Me, another dude that I can't disclose his name, might make a video with him tomorrow. And I'll disclose his name if I'm allowed, but mm, beats me. Uh, we'll call him Olive. That's his nickname, Olive. And uh, Nick, Clasp Star, and me, another one of my friends, uh, Cade. Go check out his channel, Epic War Pig 5000. I'll, pu I'll put a link in the description, eh, maybe. Go look, look in the link in the description. You might just find his channel. Go subscribe. I don't even know what vid what he does. 
He's just, uh... He did, like, my old stuff that actually got views. Remember that? Remember my old videos that got views? Yeah, those. Except he doesn't have a squeaky voice of a four-year-old. I don't know what we're doing today. Gunshot, you see, I die. Oh, so funny. Two seconds, two minutes snippet. It took me four hours to record and six to edit. I actually spent so long picking out sound effects for uh, Jemmy's end. It's absolutely ridiculous. Okay, back to the point. So, uh, I have to look at the back. Margot kind of disappears, but she's, like, been going to, like, a ton of places and stuff constantly. And, um... It's really hard to say almost anything without spoiling it. And I can't tell you what paper towns are, because it's a big part of the storyline. Um... But she goes missing. And, um, so they go into her, her house, and they find, um, a book with a ton of highlighted stuff in it. I forget what book it was. Let me check here. Actually, I think I might have found the page. It's a, it's a poem by, uh, Whitman. White Whitman, White Whit, Whit White Man, Whitman, Song of Self. That's what it was called, Song of Self. And there was like this one, um, like verse in it that had something to do with like unhinging the doors from themselves. And then like he unscrewed like the things in his doors, and there was like an address on it, and then it was like led to this creepy, destroyed house. It's a really, 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 really good. Like, one of my, this is one of my favorite books. I just haven't, I have to reread it. I haven't read it in forever. Well, not forever, like, six months. So in the next, my next video, I'll probably say a some, little something else. Don't know John Green is. He did, uh, The Fault in Our Stars. He did, um, uh, Will Grayson, Will Grayson. I read a bit of that one. It was pretty good. But nowhere close to as good as this one. I need, I must read, um, A Fault in Our Stars. Haven't really gotten to it yet. But overall, really, really good. Definitely recommend it. I think this one might actually be a little bit more mature in the humor sense of it. But still, really, really, really good. I'm definitely 5 out of 5. I, I haven't done this in six months, and I didn't review the content. So, like, I, did I go five out of five, or ten out of ten? I don't remember, so I'll, I'll give it a five out of five, if that's what I did. D wait, this, why am I speaking into my blue snowball? That's the wrong microphone. You, you guys tell me. Um, but yes, it's, yes, pretty good. I'll either have another one of these, uh, so I give it, <coughs> it gets a five out of five. This is the second time I coughed in the middle of the video. Transitional copyrighted music. Thank you guys for watching. I don't know why I needed transitional copyrighted music for, for the, the end frame. I don't know what I'll put in. I'll probably just write transitional copyrighted music. Power rating! Wow, I can make homages to my old videos because it's been like 10 months. I need to do a reaction video to my like old videos. If, uh, leave a, a like if you want me to do a reaction to my old videos. Actually, no, leave a dislike if you want me to do a reaction to my old videos, and leave a like if you don't. Because no one wants reaction channels, because they're boring. So I'll get a ton of likes on this and no dislikes, because no one likes that those old videos, even though I had, like, that's my most liked video and most viewed. Uh, oh, something just fell.
so, um, I didn't post for about a week. Jemmy, you said you were doing a da da daily video. No, I, I did say that. I also said I was streaming. Think that's ever going to happen? No. Unless this video gets like thousand upvotes. Sorry, not upvotes. Like thousand. This video gets 1,000 views. I'll do a stream. How about that? That's the same amount of. Oh, 1,000 views. Thank you, guys. We did it, I think. Did, wait, did we? Did we do it or is it still like 995 or something? If, if it's not 1,000 views, then the next video will be 1,000 views. I'll say just, wow, it's 1,000 views. I'm not going to make a thank you for a 1,000 views video. That's so dumb. Why would I do that? So guys, remember to like my channel, subscribe, hit that little bell button. I will, anyone who says that they hit the bell button... I will um, put a link to your channel. Anyone who hits the bell button, I'm desperate. I'm desperate. I will leave a link to your channel for all 22 of the people who watch my channel to go click on. You want to you wanna do that? Massage is a dead meme, by the way. We're not playing a dead meme. No, fine. I'll still play Visage. It got like six views. That's actually pretty good. It did better than my Overwatch series. Remember that, that old Overwatch video I did where I just put my, my camera, my, like, cannon, up to the... Com that computer monitor right over there? And thought it was an actual decent video that I would upload? Also, if you, if you, guys, if you guys can do a meme with this, me pointing at the clock... It would be very appreciated. Some, something about the time. Something about the time. It's time to subscribe to PewDiePie. I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll make that the thumbnail. Me, me like this with something... With me pointing at the clock and it says something in a really stupid font. That's gonna be the thumbnail. Is that dumb? I don't care. If this is 30 minutes, I get four... Crap. I get four ads. I want four ads, because that means I might get a dollar. That means I might... I, if I can get one ad, I get money. I like money. So thank you. Thank you guys for watching. And... Bye-bye. Oh, no! Oh, jeez, my, my camera. Oh, no. Okay. You just... I... Oh, bye, you guys. My name is Jamie. I don't like outros, and I like to pee.